So a bit about my um, journey as a cybersecurity professional. Um, by academic qualification, I do have a degree in institutional management and a diploma in uh, information communication technology. Uh, both uh, got and graduated in uh, 2012. I also do have a professional certification in CTIA, that is a Certified uh, Threat Intelligence Analyst. Um, a bit about my career journey, since uh, my graduation in 2012, I have specialized in consultative selling of uh, uh, technology solutions. Uh, when we started, we, we used to call it relationship selling. I, I don't know whether that is still a term. Um, and uh, what that entails is uh, basically uh, helping organizations to optimize their business processes using um, technology. And I think uh, one of the highlights of my career journey to date was uh, sales training with the Oracle Sales Academy. That was um, in 2016. So it's an interesting story how I got into uh, cybersecurity. I think my interest was sparked in 2017. Um, I think uh, most people will remember the WannaCry ransomware attack. It was global, it was massive. Um, it affected about 99 countries uh, globally. And uh, Kaspersky estimated the financial loss from uh, the WannaCry ransomware attack at about $4 billion. Uh, dollars and uh, for me it not only uh, what, what was what came came out for me or stood out for me is that it did not just affect uh, businesses and corporations it did also compromise national health services and as well as uh, critical infrastructure and I think uh, that was the, the the point where you know I sort of uh, developed an interest in cyber security in terms of my aspirations, I think that's a very good question. Uh, I do intend to continue creating uh, or helping organizations to you know, understand the threat landscape as well as adopt solutions that are a good fit for the organizations. But uh, much closer to my heart, I think uh, it would be an honor to use my cyber security expertise in, uh, you know, for social impact. You know, uh, cyber insecurity and cyber threats have, uh, you know, adversely affected our society. You can can see uh, there has been exponential growth in uh, organized crime as well as uh, online exploitation of uh, vulnerable groups. Uh, we've seen uh, uh, things about, uh, you know, uh, aspects about, uh, you know, the growth of human trafficking that has been propagated by uh, technology and, you know, the threat uh, that uh, technology uh, space can create. Uh, one of the challenges uh, for um, you know um, threat intelligence uh, professionals, I think, is the ever-changing, the dynamic threat landscape. It changes over time and uh, across industry. So uh, there's for me three reasons to this. One is because um, cyber criminals are sophisticated and they're becoming more sophisticated they are sophisticated with time uh, they're operating in highly networked and uh, synchronized uh, supply chains secondly um the you know the attack surface is uh, growing you know there is uh, cloud technologies uh, there is internet of things there is uh, you know um, more smart technology uh, coming into this space so uh, the attack surface is continually expanding and growing um, and thirdly I think it's uh, the incidences um, happening around the world that uh, provide uh, you know sort of a breeding ground for uh, uh, you know for cyber uh, criminal activities but what I mean by this is uh, uh, you know there, there, there would be incidences like remote work uh, remote working um, COVID, uh, as we've uh, previously seen, uh, we do have things like elections uh, or, uh, you know, political situations, uh, national disasters. So these are incidences that, um, you know, uh, provide, um, you know, a surface or an opportunity for cyber criminals to execute uh, their activities. On CTIA and career, uh, my career progression, uh, a bit of an analogy. If I was to buy an, uh, a BMW X series um, vehicle, I would um, 
probably uh, take uh, more keenly the advice of a BMW user as opposed to a typical uh, car sales person. Why is it? Why is this rather? Uh, this is because the BMW uh, user has working knowledge of um, uh, you know a BMW uh, X7 uh, X7 vehicle, uh, the strengths, the weaknesses, the challenges that come with it, and uh, this is the the same uh, you know when I decided to specialize in a certain area of technology, uh, and I chose cybersecurity. I decided that I'm going to get full working knowledge um, or, and expertise in this area, uh, and this uh, essentially was to enable me to have um, you know. Know, you know conversations uh, and um, sea level conversations and uh, you know a full understanding of what I was talking about whether it's the threat threat actors and the motives and the different risks to the organization you know financial regulatory um, the different dynamics of it you know um, how to ac uh, assess uh, security posture the organization of uh, vulnerabilities the threat landscape uh, by industry or across industry, um, you know, the different intelligence, uh, you know, actionable intelligence that is needed uh, in every level of the organization, understanding that is very critical. Uh, you know, the different uh, threat intelligence tools, um, you know, how to build a threat intelligence program, the costs of it, the skill sets, the time that is required for this. So all these aspects um, are very, have been very critical, you know, in uh, uh, learning all these aspects actually has been uh, very critical in, you know, um, moving to the next step of my, of my career in uh, consultative selling. Um, so what has been my experience preparing and learning uh, CTIA? Um, so I'll be very honest. At the beginning, I had a bit of a bit of concern about, um, you know, the how comprehensive the course is going to be because I think most of us have experience with uh, online courses where once you've subscribed and you've started, you realize, uh, you know, they they fall short of what you expected. So with the CTIA program, I was pleasantly surprised. So it took me about uh, five months uh, to start, complete the course and sit the exam. And what I can say is that um, the content is quite extensive. So it does prompt one to research, uh, research much more, uh, research further. And what this essentially means is that you need to dedicate ample time and resources uh, to to cover you know all aspects of the um, CTIA course, and you know ultimately at uh, the end of the course, what you you have or model you have modeled in your mind is um, you know a cyber threat uh, mindset or awareness. You know, I can say you become. Uh, I think this is my own word, but you become cyber alert. Yeah, which I believe uh, is the ultimate goal of uh, pursuing uh, the CTIA program. Uh, so on the three things that I liked about uh, the CTIA program, uh, this is a simple one. Uh, so first of all, uh, I uh, enjoyed the structured learning approach. So uh, this combines three different aspects. One, there is a great uh, you know, expert instructor. Uh, secondly, there is um, you know, uh, detailed course notes. Um, reference links and uh, and books and finally there's the virtual labs which gives uh, or provides a hands-on experience with the different threat intelligence tools uh, secondly uh, number two of the things that i liked about the course is that there's the the mode of learning so there's multiple training options that are uh, provided uh, so there would, there would be the self-paced uh, there would be the live online training um, there would be the private team training so there's multiple options to look at and this is essentially very ideal for working professionals and uh, lastly uh, the, the the structure of the exam so this uh the examinations will test on uh, um, comprehension of material and also the applied understanding of the content in uh, um, in practical scenarios uh, so those are uh, the the three things that uh, really stood out for me um, in uh, within within the course cyber security is uh, right now board level 
C-level discussion. And uh, one of the most critical aspects of our line of work is the ability to articulate comprehensively to decision makers the value of cyber security, uh, threat intelligence and uh, threat intelligence programs. Uh, you know, rather uh, to build a business case to justify significant investment in any of these cybersecurity areas. So basically what the CTIA program helps you, uh, you know, understand is the costs of, uh, you know, um, any cybersecurity investment uh, versus the benefits of it. So, uh, you know, the cost in terms of uh, the budgets, um, the human resource required, um, the tools, um, as well as the time uh, spent on, uh, on, on these uh, programs. Uh, in terms of the, you know, the benefits, uh, you know, CTA helps you ad ad understand the benefits in terms of uh, the risks averted, whether it's the risk of financial loss, uh, the risk of uh, you know legal liability, uh, as well as you know uh, regulatory uh, liability. You know uh, to understand the uh, the significance of CTI in career progression for cybersecurity professionals, uh, CTI involves you know collecting of data from multiple data sources and feeds. Uh, analyzing it and reaching it and the output is usually strategic uh, threat intel, uh, tactical or operational uh, threat intel. Uh, how CTIA can help I, uh, in two ways. One, uh, you can rise in level uh, since now you have the expertise and uh, the knowledge uh, you know to um, to create um, threat intelligence required by different levels of the organization and secondly CTIA expands the opportunities available for you in different organizations we are talking maybe larger corporations with uh, more advanced threat intelligence programs uh, there's the government intelligence agencies, for example, there's ENISA, uh, the FBI, uh, and its equivalent in different countries. We have, uh, you know, Interpol Cybercrime Unit, we have uh, CISA and SAT in the different uh, uh, countries as well. Uh, and lastly, we have the uh, private intel providers. Um, these are the different organizations that provide uh, Intel to 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 you know private companies, uh, for example, uh, what comes to my mind is uh, you know uh, Kaspersky, FireEye, um, and, uh, and 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 others uh, in the market. Finally, on uh, the advice that I can uh, share with anyone uh, preparing to sit the CTIA exam, firstly, this is a great choice of program to pursue. Uh, and second, secondly, uh, and I think what worked for me is very simple, that, uh, you know, study uh, all the material, all the material that has been provided for you, whether it's the labs, uh, all the course notes, and uh, my emphasis would be on the course notes that have been provided, and good luck uh, with your CTIA exam. Thank you.